everyone. Happy December. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for joining me today. I have something special. I got some new art supplies that I thought everyone might be interested in seeing. You may have seen other videos on the mirror paint. It's kind of popular right now. Well, I went to their website. It's called Culture Hustle USA, and they have what they claim to be the world's silver, silveriest, e silver, and goldest gold. We will be the test of that, won't we? So let's open these up and check out these bottles. I'm going to have their um, website down below for you. Now, the mirror paint was expensive. It was like $30 for a little bottle like this. But here is the silver. I mean, that's an interesting um, component to put paint in. It's pretty cool looking. 30 milliliters. Oh, and you can spray it so I can use it in my airbrush machine. It says to spray, mix 30% water. Okay. And this is a high-grade acrylic paint. I don't think their, their mirror paint is acrylic. I'm going to guess it's an enamel, but I don't know for sure. Um, it was expensive, so I didn't get it. But if anybody's interested in seeing that mirror paint, down, let me know down below, and I might get it to test it out for you. So here is the gold. And the reason I got these is, I will show you in a bit, I use these paints on the side of my geode coasters. And here's the gold. That's actually a little more of a yellow gold than I wanted. But um, we'll just see, we'll have to see how it looks. All right, so here are the paints. I'm going to set up to do some swatches and I'm gonna do a quick test on resin because that's what I bought these for. And yeah, we're just gonna see if these really are the world's silverest silver and goldest gold. Okay, so this is what I'm actually gonna use this paint on, or at least that's why I bought it. Um, this is resin, and these are what my geode coasters look like. All right, here are the purple and gold, and I also have ones that have silver on it. But I finished the edges, and here's the back of them. They're still pretty too. Um, I finished the edges, as you can see, and I use a paint pen for this. It's the gold leafing paint pen. But I seem to go through those really quick, so it's getting kind of expensive when every four set of coasters I have to get another $10 paint pen, you know. So um, I wanted to try to find a paint. Um, I think I'm going to have to go enamel, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see if this works. So here's what the finished ones look like, just so you know. I have some little tester ones that aren't my geode coasters. I've got um, my little sports coasters. We have our Steelers in Ohio State that we're going to test this paint out on. Okay, so we're going to put that up here. And let's test out the silver one first on the Ohio State. Oh, my, that blew up. Uh, be careful if you get these. I don't know why mine kind of exploded a little bit when I opened it. And there's a very strange smell. It smells like cat pee to me. <laughs> so I, I don't I don't know what to say about that. Let's carry on. All in the name of art. I just want to put a little bit in there. Because these aren't... These are just practice coasters. These didn't turn out well. There was a strange film on it. And I don't know if I can catch it on camera. Uh, that one, not so much. Maybe this guy got a strange film on the top of these. So we can't sell them, so we're just going to practice with it. All right, we're not going to wet our brush. We're just going to go straight in. Hmm. All right, there's one coat. Um, we're gonna let it dry and probably do another. Um, it's not as full bodied as I would want right off the bat. I'm probably gonna have to just keep on using enamel. But um, that mirror one looked like enamel, so maybe I'll get that one. But I don't know what I'd do with my gold ones. So let's let this one dry. Let's see if this guy explodes on us. Nope. So far, so good. Oh. Huh, I didn't remember the other one to have that. 
Actually, let's use it right off of that. The gold does not smell like cat pee. It's weird that this one smells odd and it actually like exploded when I opened it up, like it had been festering. I wonder if that's good. Weird. All right, there's the first layer of that. All right, I am trying these out on pieces of paper now. This is just some cardboard I had laying around. And I didn't add any water to this yet because I wanted to see really what we're dealing with. All right, there's that. And it looks very nice on black paper. Very nice. Okay, so we let, I'm letting my coasters dry to put a second coat on. So here is the paint on just some normal, this is a piece of normal cardboard. I think that's a very nice finish actually. Um, I'm quite impressed, you know, cause sometimes acrylics don't have quite the vibrancy. Uh, their metallic finishes do. Um, yeah, I, I think that's pretty, pretty shiny. I like it. And of course, on the black, that's where it really pops. Yeah, I think that has very nice pigment for standard applications on paper or probably canvas. I'm going to give it a thumbs up for that, for sure. Now for these coasters. Um, now, I let it dry and I put on a second coat. Definitely more opaque after the second finish. And it's pretty shiny. Now, I don't think it... Let's see. Well, it's not too bad. It's just a different... It's got a different undertone to the gold I'm used to using. But sometimes I have all kinds of micas and stuff. So, I mean, look, the back... This gold matches the back of the coaster just fine. Now, the front gold, like the gold leafing flakes, the stuff I used matches that perfectly. So I think it's okay to use on coasters. It's a nice finish. It's shiny. Yeah, I think the gold's going to work just fine depending on what undertone of gold I've used in that coaster. Here's the silver. Now this, I had to do three coats. It didn't seem to have quite the ass that the gold did. And remember, this smelled funny, so I'm not sure if this paint is good or not. If you know or have heard anybody say that they've gotten this silver and it smells like cat butt, let me know. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to. Who knows? But once I got the three coats on, I'm not mad at it at all. Not at all. So I think I can get away with using these on my coasters too. I like that finish. I don't think there's anything wrong with that finish. So I'm pretty happy. I think I can use it for the application I bought them for. Plus, I mean, this is just right on the paper, just one coat. That looks very nice. I'm very happy with that. And I don't think these were that expensive. Now, I'm not, I can't remember, but I think these were like maybe $10 each. I know you're thinking that's a little bottle of paint for 10 bucks, but it was supposed to be packed with pigment. So more expensive paints cost more money. Yeah, I'm pretty curious now. I might have to go ahead and get that mirror paint just to see. Hopefully they come out with a gold mirror too. That would really, I would like that a lot. Well, folks, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, first impression on these paints. Again, I'll have their website down below if you're interested. Let me know if you are going to order these, if you've heard of anybody using them, uh, and if you're interested in me getting that mirror paint. Anyway, guys, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.